we're here today because um, we had a sad, sad, sad tragedy just a couple of years away from us. Annabelle, the mother of that David, was a sad day for her, a sad day for the community. She decided to let David's life live on. And because she has made that decision to, for David's life to live on, that is why you're all here today, gathering today, to celebrate David's life and to continue, continue the fight against knife and gun crime. Um, and although we keep preaching about knife and people are still carrying knife on the street. People are still using gun. Now, I remember I used to do catering and I, I wanted to have a knife. And I thought the best knife was to have the sharpest knife to cut the meat, to cut the vegetables to make the um, fruit salad, and to cut the mutton up to make the mutton stew or the curry mutton. But you lot tends to think that said a knife is supposed to carry in your pocket. No, the knife is not for your pocket. The knife is for the kitchen drawer. Yes? And when your mom is missing the knife in the kitchen drawer, She's supposed to be searching your bedrooms to see which one of you have the knife in your bedroom. Because you're not supposed to have the knife in your bedroom. You're not supposed to take them outside the front door unless you was going to go scouting. And there's a small knife what you use for scouting or you use for fishing net to do your fishing net. Or if you was a, a violinist, you needed to turn your violin and to tune up your violin and that's the one that you can take through the airport because true. So, you know young people, you see when you have an argument with your friends and when your friends upset you, you know you just step aside and say, bro, what's going on man? We don't know, what, what's wrong, what's wrong? Just say to them, let's talk about it. Let's go outside and get, let my mom cook some... <laughs> For you to, those of you who don't know, um, I'm Sally Knox and my son Rob Knox was murdered um, in May 2008. It, isn't, it was an absolute tragedy, we all had a tragedy, um, but I've made some fantastic friends. Grace is the nicest, loveliest lady that I've ever, ever met. I really respect what she's doing. I mean, this, the 100 Days of Peace, I can't think of any better way to celebrate that. On my own, I'll come out and show everyone who I am in the big wide ozone. Curl up, curl out, curl up, curl out, curl up. Curl out and break free from my room. Called, I called my own, cause now I'm trapped in my own zone. I need some air. I need to be out there in the big ozone. So I'ma push through and curl up and curl out and curl up and curl out and curl out and breathe for the first time and fly. Cause I've now just moved into a big, beautiful butterfly. Thank you. I wrote that piece because I believe that, you know, you should never be afraid to be yourself. And sometimes it is about growth and development. And we all got to go through that. Never be afraid to take that journey. This one is called I'm a Me Woman. I'm a strong. Place a mansion. See some artists drop a stage or nope. No one ain't clapping, but my flow is cold. Hit the show, whole rave chapping. I think the one they call Jesus for my second chance. He helped me out when I was in my worst circumstance. And I'ma make it this year. Promise not to let you down. God walks with me. I'm angel fly. I step a step in clouds. Wait. 
I said I'm trying to make the best of my todays, the worst of my tomorrow. So I'm moving at a pace, it seems nobody can follow. Where the best Italian ace, even my girlfriend wants to borrow. Although they don't see my face, believe my name isn't hollow. But the pain in the sun. Sixteen young people. And they went down to Birmingham uh, uh, last two weeks. They were in Birmingham. And they did uh, the uh, Among um, Music for Youth. Uh, they participate in the in this competition called Music for, for Youth in Birmingham. So they did very, very well. I'm so proud of these people. You see them, they are, they are a leader. They, you know, nobody forced them to come and be the part of choir, but because they are a leader, they hear about this choir, and they voluntarily join in with the choir. So, and I said, if you have this uh, wristband, 